Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about two-step equations with decimals. We're going to solve each equation. Now, if I was given this equation... Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. M over 2.8 minus 4.9 equals a negative 7.11. All right. First thing I want to do is I'm going to add a 4.9 to both sides. This will eliminate the 4.9 on the left, giving me m over 2.8 by itself on the left, and on the right, well, negative 7.11 plus 4.9 comes out to be a negative 2.21. Then from there, I'm going to multiply 2.8 to both sides. This will eliminate the 2.8 in the denominator there, giving me m by itself here, and negative 2.21 times a 2.8 is a negative 6.188, and there we have our final answer. 0.4x plus 3.9 equal to 5.78. First thing I want to do is to subtract here 3.9. Remember, opposite of addition, subtraction. We subtract 3.9 to both sides. 3.9 gets eliminated on the left, giving me 0.4x by itself on the left. On the right, 5.78 minus 3.9 comes out to be 1.88. All right, now 0.4 times x, right? Opposite of multiplication is division. Divide both sides by 0.4. And I'm left with, with 0.4 is cancel, x by itself on the left, on the right, 1.88 divided by 0 0.4 is a 4.7. And so x equals 4.7 is my final answer. Negative 10.5 plus m over 11.57 equal to a negative 2.748. All right? First thing I want to do is multiply both sides by 11.57. Why do I want to do that? Well, since we're dividing by 11.57, if I multiply both sides by 11.57, we eliminate that denominator, leaving me negative 10.5 plus m by itself on the left. On the right, negative 2.748 times 11.57 is a negative 31.79436. And so now all I have to do is add a 10.5 to both sides, right? Remember, right, a negative 10.5, opposite of that is adding a 10.5. 10.5s cancel, leaving me m by itself on the left, and the right, my final answer, negative 21.2, that's a 2, 2, 9, 4, 3, 6, as my final answer. 9.2. R plus 5.514 equals 158.234. All right. Now I want to solve for R. First step: subtract a 5.514 to both sides. This will eliminate the 5.514 on the left, right, giving me a 9.2. R by itself on the left. Now on the right though, 158.234 minus 5.514 is 152.72. Now we're being multiplied by 9.2, so opposite multiplication, division. Divide both sides by 9. This is new point 2. 9.2 is cancel, giving me R by itself on the left. 152.72 divided by 9.2 is a 16.6, and there it is. Our final answer. V over 10.44 minus 2.9 equals a negative 4.422. First step, I want to add a 2.9 to both sides. 2.9s get eliminated, leaving me V over 10. 0.44 by itself on the left. On the right, negative 4.422 plus 2.9 is a negative 1.522. Now from here, I'm dividing by 10.4. So if I multiply both sides by 10.44, 
divided by 10.44. The 10.44s get eliminated, leaving me v by itself. Now negative 1.522 times 10.44 is a negative 15.8. 8968, and there we have our final answer. Negative 5.4 minus 7.8x equals a negative 78.408. First thing I want to do is to add a 5.4 to both sides. Now remember, we have a negative 5.4 here, so when I add a 5.4 to both sides, that gets eliminated. I have negative 7.8x by itself on the left, and negative 78.408 plus 5.4 comes out to be a negative 73.008. Still want to get x by itself. This be multiplied by negative 7.8. If I divide both sides by negative 7.8, the negative 7.8s cancel giving me x by itself. Now negative 73.008 divided by negative 7.8, remember negative divided by negative, negative is a positive, we'll get a positive 9.36, and there is our final length. k minus 2.6 over 5.2, and that's equal to a negative 0 0.418, all right? First thing I want to do is multiply both sides by 5.2, but why? Well, since I'm dividing by a 5.2, right, to, uh, right there, if I multiply by 5.2 to both sides, I eliminate that 5.2 in the denominator, leaving me k minus 2.6 in the numerator, and that's what's left over on the left. On the right, negative 0.418 times 5.2 is a negative 2.1736. So now all I have to do is add a 2.6 to both sides, because we're subtracting it, opposite of that is addition. So we add 2.6 to both sides, leaving me k by itself on the left. On the right, negative 2.1736 plus 2.6 comes out to be a 0 0.4264, and there we have our final answer. Negative 8.388. Plus 10.71 equals 131.382. I want to get v by itself. First step to doing that is subtracting a 10.71 to both sides. This will eliminate the 10.71 on the left, leaving me with negative 8.38v on the left. On the right, 131.382 minus 10.71 is a 120.672. Now I'm multiplying both, uh, right here, I'm multiplying a negative 8.38 times uh, to v. So if I divide, opposite multiplication, right, division, negative 8.38, okay, to both sides, then negative 8.38 will be eliminated, leaving me v by itself. Now 120.672 divided by negative 8.38 is a good old negative 14.4, and there we have our final answer. 2.8 plus x over a 3.1 equals to 2.709. Right. Well, I'm dividing by a 3.1, so my first step in getting x by itself is multiplying 3.1 to both sides. It eliminates the 3.1s on the left, giving me 2.8 plus x by itself on the left. Now on the right, 2.709 times 3.1 is a 8.3979. Now I'm adding 2.8, so opposite addition, subtraction. If I subtract the 2.8 now to both sides, 2.8s cancel on the left, giving me x by itself on the left. On the right, 8.3 979 minus 2.8 is 5.5979, and there we have our final answer. 10 minus 12.9 over a 6.1, and that's equal to a negative 0 0.377. First thing I want to do is multiply 6.1 to both sides. This will eliminate the 6.1 in the denominator right there, giving me n minus 12.9 left in the numerator. 
On the right hand side, negative three, uh, 0 0.377 times 6.1 comes out to be a negative 2.2997. Now, I'm subtracting 12.9, so opposite of subtraction is addition. If I add a 12.9 to both sides, we're left with n by itself. Now, negative 2.2997 plus 12.9 is a 10.6003, and there we have our final answer. Negative 7.3 plus r over a 9.2. And that's equal to a negative 0 0.739. First thing I want to do is multiply a 9.2 to both sides. The 9.2 will eliminate uh, on the left because, you know, it's per divided by 9.2. Multiply by 9.2 is the opposite. Cancel each other out. We have a negative 7.3 plus r left over on the left. On the right, negative 0.739 times 9.2 comes out to be a negative 6.7988. Now, I want to get r by itself still, right? We have a negative 7.3. If I add a 7.3 to both sides, the 7.3s will cancel on the left, giving me r by itself. On the right, negative 6.7988 plus 7.3 is 0 0.5012, and so there we have our final answer negative 13.3 plus k over 11.796, and that's equal to a negative 0 0.296. First thing I want to do is, well, I recognize we're dividing by 11.796. Opposite division is multiplication. Multiply 11.796 to both sides. The 11.96 will cancel on the left, giving me negative 13.3 plus k left over. Negative 0.296 times 11.796 comes out to be a negative 3.491616. Now I have a negative 13.3. To get rid of that, I can add a 13.3. Make sure to both sides, though. 13.3 is cancel on the left, giving me k by itself. That's what I wanted. Negative 3.491616 plus 13.3 comes out to be a 9.808384, and that is our final answer. 12.1 plus a over a 4.9 is equal to a 7.071. First thing I want to do is multiply a 4.9 to both sides. In doing so, right, I eliminate the 4.9 on the left, giving me a 12.1 plus a on the left, one step closer to getting a by itself. Now, 7.071 times 4.9 is a 34.6479. I'm adding a 12.1, so if I subtract a 12.1 to both sides, I'll eliminate that and I will get A by itself, my ultimate goal here. 34.6479 minus a 12.1 is a 22.5479. And there we have our final answer. Negative 13.9 plus B over a 12.8, and that's equal to a negative 13.3 Zero, 06. First thing I want to do is add a 13.9 to both sides first. What that does it eliminates a 13.9 on the left, right? Giving me a b over 12.8 by itself on the left. On the right, negative 13.306 plus 13.9 is a 0 0.594. Okay, now, I'm dividing by 12.8. If I multiply Right? Multiplication means opposite of division, 12.8 to both sides. The 12.8s will get eliminated on the left, giving me B by itself. 0 0.594 times 12.8 is a 7.6032, and that is our final answer. 12.84 plus X over a 2.89 
and that's equal to a negative 2.166. All right, I want to get x by itself. So the way to do that, I have to multiply both sides by 2.89 first. The reason why I chose that is I'm dividing by 2.89 and opposite of divisions, multiplication. So if I do that to both sides, the 2.89s cancel on the left, giving me a 12.84 plus x left over. Negative 2.166 times a 2.89 comes out to be a negative 6.25974. All right? So now we want to still get x by itself. If I subtract a 12.84 to both sides, all right, I'm left now with x by itself. All right, negative 6.257974 minus a 12.84 is a negative 19.09974, and there we have our final answer. 3.649 plus a 12.3v equals 146.329. All right, I want to get v by itself. First step in doing that is subtracting a 3.649 to both sides. What that does is eliminates a 3.649 on the left, right, leaving me 12.3v by itself. Now 146.329 minus 3.649 is a 142.68. Now I'm multiplying a 12.3 to v, opposite multiplication, division. So I divide both sides by 12.3. It's a weird 3 there with 12. Let's almost put a 3 again, that's why I can't say something different and write something, right? 12.3 to both sides. 12.3s cancel, give me v by itself. That's what I want. 142.68 divided by that ugly 12.3 is a 11.6, and there we have our final answer. Negative 3.8 minus 13.4 p equals a negative 460. 0.606. All right, and I need to solve for p. I see I'm subtracting a negative 3.8 here. So if I add a 3.8, an 8, not 3.3, let's make that into an 8, there we go, to both sides, I'll eliminate that 3.8 on the left. Bring me one step closer to getting p by itself. Negative 13.4, p now is equal to, well, negative 460.606 plus 3.8 is a negative. 456.806. All right. I want to get p by itself still. It's being multiplied by a negative 13.4. If I divide negative 13.4 to both sides, the negative 13.4 eliminates on the left, giving me p by itself on the left. On the right, negative 456.806 divided by negative 13.4 is a good old positive 34.09. Remember, negative divided by a negative is a positive. So my final answer, p equals 34.09. r minus 8.7 over a 3.6, and that's equal to 3.722. I want to get r by itself. First way to do that is I'm going to multiply both sides by 3.6. Since I'm dividing by it here, opposite divisions, multiplication. So if I do that to both sides, the 3.6s cancel on the left. Give me r by itself minus 8.7 there. On the right, 3.722 times 3.6 comes out to be a 13.3992. Now, I still want to get r by itself. It's being subtracted by 8.7. If I add an 8.7, opposite of subtraction and addition, to both sides here, 8.7s cancel, leaving me r by itself. That's what I wanted. 13.3992 plus 8.7 comes out to be a 22.0992. And there we have our final answer. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com